some bad news. You have AIDS. <laughs> Everyone who shook hands with Archie, please stand up. Okay, you have come into contact with someone who has AIDS. The rest of you, if you shook hands with any of these people, would you please stand? You may have been exposed to the AIDS virus as well. Please be seated. Who has a card with the letter C? Please stand. OK, you three used condoms when you had sexual contact. <laughs> you were smart. You protected yourself and others from the AIDS virus. Please be seated. OK, I know you know this is only an exercise. Glad you gave everyone AIDS. How come you never told us you were a home? Uh, a boy must keep his secrets, you know. But why? Can't kids and tell? You want to hold my head, fella? I'm sorry, you're not my type. Oh, oh, stop it. You make a beautiful couple. No, we should go to the ball together. Oh, we get dead with all the boys. So, um, I hear heterosexuals can get AIDS, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. like Parsons. Yes, rehearsing for something, folks? Let's go put on some makeup, boy. Makeup the boys room. Well, what I don't understand is why Garcia is the one who's teaching us about AIDS. I know, he's a math teacher. And maybe it has something to do with multiplication. <laughs> Doris Bell would like to speak with both Alex Yanko and Pete Riley as soon as possible. Hi. LD. I'm sorry about not inviting you guys to my party. I was dumb, but can't we just be friends again? I wouldn't want to get in the way of you and your boyfriend. I told you, he's not my boyfriend anymore. Why? Didn't he respect you in the morning? Spy, come on, this is it, Remedy. Two bucks, you can't get a better deal. Hey, girls, you want to buy a zit remedy tape? Two bucks. Well, I don't have any money right now. Maybe another time? Yeah, sure. Caitlin, hi. And might I add, you look extremely beautiful today. Shane, call and get Snake, right. I'm going over to CRAZ radio station today. You know, let them hear the tape. Right. Do you want to come with me? Um. I'm 
gonna go play basketball. That's more important than the zit remedy? Man, I can't believe what's happening. Wheels doesn't hardly come to school anymore. You want to play basketball? I have to do this all myself. Joey, CRAZ is a real radio station. They won't listen to us. Sure they will. No, they won't. We're kids. They'll just give you the good old runaround. Don't call us. We'll call you. Joey Jeremiah will not be denied. Believe it, you'll thank me when we're famous, Snake. Wake up, guys. The man is a dreamer. I can't believe all the homework we're getting. I'll never get it done on time. <laughs> You're rich. Pay somebody to do it for you. Very funny. I'm serious. Right. Who? Well, go ahead, ask him. There must be a lot of brainy kids who use this money. Maybe. Yes? Is it true you're rich? Uh, no, it's just a rumor. Bye. Have you been telling people? No. How they find out? I don't know. Your cousin says he isn't rich. I knew it wasn't true. Me too. But he is. Right. Maybe it's Dory. Oh, it sure wasn't me, because I didn't see it. Yes, sir. Well, it, it's not that easy, sir. Uh-huh. Mm. I see. Excuse me. Well, well, I'm getting onto it right now. OK, then. Hi. You're here for the job. Job? No, um, I'm here to see the program manager. Oh, I see. Uh, this is in regards to... Uh, I'm Joey Jeremiah. I've got this band called The Zit Remedy. You've probably heard of us. No, I haven't. And I'm afraid our program manager's in a meeting right now. If you leave the tape with me, I'll see he gets it. I'll wait. He'll be a while. That's okay. I know he wants to hear this. CRZ Radio. Go. All right, come on, Snooky. Oh, yeah, all right, go for it, Shady Boy. Yelp, you get the ball. Come on, bring me inside. No, I'm not going to shoot. No, that's too lucky. Oh, 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 that's too lucky. Thought I'd stop by for a visit. Well, hey guys, this is my brother Glenn. Hi, how you doing? Glenn, how's it going? Good to see you. Hi. You're pretty good. Thanks. We hear you're not too bad yourself. Whoa. Lucky shot. Yeah, right. Can I give you a ride home? Yeah, it would be great. Um, I'll see you guys, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, see you next time. See you, Glenn. Luke. So, how long are you staying? Oh, a couple of days, depends. Did you see how easy he did that? I know. And the guy's got a set of wheels, man. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Ah. Oh, yeah. So how are Mom and Dad? Good. Oh, they're not going to believe you're here. Yeah. So uh, why aren't you in school? Don't you have classes? Uh, classes got canceled yeah, for a couple of days. You haven't dropped out, have you? No. I like meds. And my marks are just fine. Oh, I know. You're getting married, right? I should have guessed. <laughs> no. 
Yeah? Too bad. Mom can't wait to have grandchildren. So how's school? Good. Boring. Oh, I'm trying out for the basketball team. While you're here, you got to coach me, please. Good to see you, little brother. Good to see you, too. Yeah. It's ugly. <laughs> yeah. Come on, boys. Let's go. Oh, Mom's home. She's going to be so surprised. Wait. What? Classes weren't canceled. That's not why I'm home. Yeah. The reason I came home is to tell Mom and Dad and you I'm moving out of the dorm. Yeah? Yeah. Into a nice apartment downtown with a good friend. We have so much in common. And there's a lot of things we want to do together. Someone I care for very much. Sure. Oh, I get it. You're moving in with some girl, right? No. It's a guy. His name's Greg. So? He's gay. What are you living with one of those for? I'm gay, too. You're joking, right? I hope you can understand. Glenn, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in med school. Hi, Mom. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in med school. I thought I'd stop by for a couple of days. Hi, don't you look great? Some girl being looking after you. <laughs> Come on, let's go and call your father. You're with these. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. I don't mind waiting. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going home. Look, why don't you leave the tape with me? It's OK. I'll come back tomorrow. Our program manager is very busy tomorrow. It's OK. I got lots of time. It's been nice waiting here. Nice chair. <laughs> You're up early. I have to go to school. I've got stuff to do. Listen, this isn't easy for any of us. I tried to tell them last night, but I couldn't. I kept chickening out after the way you react. Oh, right, like it's my fault. Why couldn't you have kept it a secret? Why did you have to tell me? I love you. I wanted you to know who I am. So many questions over and over. Excuse me? Me and Casey would like to know. Are you rich? No, I'm not rich. Now go away, leave me alone. Why do all these little kids keep on asking me that? Arthur, or 12 people finding out your mom won the lottery. Plenty, like kidnappers. <laughs> Arthur. No, Yick, I'm serious. 
I could be walking along, and this big black car pulls up beside me. They grab me, they pull me in, they tie me up, and they blindfold me so I don't see where we're going. <laughs> you watch too much TV. No, Yik, I mean it. It's not just kidnappers. It's encyclopedia salesmen, people who want to borrow money. Once they find out you're rich, they never stop bugging you. Attention, students. This is your principal, Mr. Lawrence. Our thought for the day is brotherhood. Remember, despite all our in-house squabbles, it's what keeps the family of mankind living under the same roof. Thank you. Hey, Snake. Hey, Snake. Your brother's one cool dude, man. Yeah, great chief. He must pick up a lot of chicks. Yeah. Um, we were wondering, maybe you could ask him to play basketball with us sometime? No. What do you mean, no? Come on, Snake, ask him. Just ask him. I said no, okay? I'm not asking him. All right. Fine. What's his problem? I don't know. Hey, Joey. Jeremiah. So, you famous yet? Joey Jeremiah will not be denied. As it so happens, they were very interested. As a matter of fact, I'm going back there today after school for a meeting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a very busy guy. Can you believe him? Yeah. You? No. He's got a voice like a bullfrog. As you can see by this diagram, after only four contacts, hundreds of people could be infected. There are two ways to protect yourself from the AIDS virus. The first and most effective way is abstinence. The second is the use of a condom. Do you have any questions? Erica. If mainly prostitutes and homosexuals get the disease, why do we have to worry? Well, if you remember our experiment, Snake had the AIDS card and quickly infected the entire class. Heather. What about blood transfusions? I read somewhere that that's how some people got it. All donated blood is tested now. Hopefully that can't happen again. Allison. What if a mosquito bit someone who had AIDS and then bit you? Would you get it? No. Insects do not spread the AIDS virus. Lucy. Why are you teaching this? You're the math teacher. <laughs> AIDS education is not part of the curriculum yet. We're doing this on a volunteer basis. Okay, we'll finish this AIDS discussion tomorrow. What's happening? Uh, that's when you don't do it. It's scary to think that anyone can get AIDS. Yeah. I'm so bored with AIDS. Yeah, me too. Not Snake, though. He's got it. Very funny. My name's Snake. Leave me alone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you cool it? What's wrong? Can't take it? <laughs> What's your problem? Guys, stop it! What's going on out here? Nothing, nothing. I think Snake did. No fighting, understand? Yes, sir. It's just a joke, man. Jeez. Forget about it. Something bothering you today? Anything you want to talk about? No. Okay, if you decide you want to talk to me, you know where I am, okay? Students are reminded to come out and cheer for our grassy campus and upcoming city finals. Let's ensure that athletes from the grassy junior high remain number one. Yeah, I think Raditz must be sick or something. <laughs> yeah, and all the other teachers. Well, I have to go. Okay, bye. bye. See ya. Arthur? Arthur? I have to talk to you. Why do you keep lying about being rich? Shh. I bet everyone you're rich. You say you aren't. Now I have to pay them $20, all my savings. All of it? I'm not rich like you. Now I'll have nothing. Dorothy, look. If 
if you promise you'll never, ever tell anyone I'm rich again, I'll give you the $20. Uh, I bet a little more than $20. Okay, fine, 25. Uh, I forgot about Max. Dorothy, don't push it. Okay, okay. Cash? I'll bring it tomorrow. But remember, no more telling people I'm rich. Promise? Promise. LD, come on. Hey, Lucy. His boyfriend's calling. Better run. I told you, we split up. Aw, and you were just getting started. Nothing happened at my party. Everyone knows your little secret. Fine, you don't believe me? Let's ask him. Do you want to know or not? Hi, I missed you. Did we have sex? What? At my party, did we have sex? We had a good time. Did we or did we not have sex? Come into my face. See. Lucy. Come on, let's go. Lucy, I'm sorry. I tried to tell you. Yes, sir. Well, I know the ad went in the paper. I saw it myself. No, not yet. Well, there don't seem to be many students interested in part-time janitorial work. I'll hire the first kid who applies. Hi. She's in a meeting. That's okay, I'll wait. Joey, he's not gonna see you. Why not? But he can't see everyone who comes in off the street. But I'm not everyone. This is good. Then leave it with me. But I told everybody. Let's not... oh, Manny has to hear it. Look, there's that job, right? For a student, a, a janitor? It's part time, yeah, but I don't... I love to empty garbage. <laughs> Especially the program manager's garbage. I'll work hard, I promise. It's the ground floor of the music biz. Please? <laughs> okay, I'll ask. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I don't exist anymore. You're the only son they've got now. Mom and Dad said that? Glenn. I'm sorry for the way I acted. 
but it's weird, you know? I know. I'm not going to be like you, am I? I mean, we're related. Relax. Just because I'm gay doesn't mean that you're going to be. It just doesn't work that way. I better be going. So when are you coming back? When I'm welcome. <laughs>